In this video, I want to talk to you about phase three, which is all about growing customer value. Now, in phase three, you're seeking to get more sales from the same customers. And you do this by cross-referring products and getting them to buy repeat purchases, to buy again. One of the best ways to do this is to increase the level of direct customer contact that you have. And you do that through building your email list further. Now, one of the ways you can do this is to in include an offer which gets in put into your product uh, by your supplier so that when it arrives to the customer through Amazon, they'll get a, a little flyer or, or a sticker on the product that offers them a discount code if they go to your website and sign up. Or indeed, it may give them um, some sort of free bonus, which they can go and collect by going to your website. So you're encouraging your customers to come to your website and sign up in order to get this bonus or this discount. And crucially, I think you should be trying to collect their email, their name, and if you can, their telephone number. Now, the point behind the telephone number is so that you can run, run if you wish, a sort of direct outreach telephone campaign where you actually contact the customers and ask them for, for actual feedback on the products. Now, this can be very valuable to you because you can gain insights as to what you can do to improve your products and therefore stay ahead of your competition. Equally, you'll be building customer loyalty because they'll be so impressed that you're actually ringing them up and taking the trouble to ask them how they're getting on with the product. Now, once you've got them on their email list, you can build an autoresponder sequence, which gradually sells them into other products. But make sure that e that autoresponder list isn't just selling. Make sure you provide them with information that's value adding and relevant to your products. Now, this might be um, cheat sheets or recipes or best practices, but things that will help them to improve in whatever they're doing in that niche and which are complementary to your products. And again, this would encourage them to, to um, come back to you and to buy from you more often. And every now and again, every fourth or fifth uh, email responder message, which might go out once a week, you can drop in another little uh, opportunity for them to get a discount or a bonus or something uh, if they buy another product. Now, another way you can do this is by diversifying the platforms on which your products are available. Now, you could put them on eBay, for instance, or you could develop an affiliate network through Ratuk and Linkshare, where people are selling your products uh, through an affiliate. You could promote uh, sales pages on your own website. But however you do this, you want to be driving your traffic back to Amazon and getting them to do all the hard work, all the fulfillment and all the rest of it. So the more places that you have your products out there, then hopefully the, the more sales you're going to get from new customers. And don't forget the remaining part of this strategy is to get your existing customers to buy more of your other products as well as make repeat purchases of your original product. So that's it. Phase three, growing customer value, how to take your Amazon FBA business to the next level. I hope you found that helpful and I look forward to seeing you again very soon in the next video.